you are one of the luckiest people alive right now. You are not having to fight for food. You're not having to fight for water. You're not having to risk disease every time you drink water because it's contaminated. You get a healthy and reliable source of food and water on a regular basis. That is more than we can say for most of the world. Um, you're sitting behind your computer right now, spending your free time watching and listening to somebody play video games and uh, talk. Now, most of the world, I'm not going to say most actually, uh, but a lot of the world right now is outside fighting for food, stealing, and, uh, you know, literally killing each other for food and water. Uh, while you get the pleasure of sitting behind your computer and enjoying a nice commentary uh, instead of having to worry about where your food's going to come from next. Now, I'm not calling you guys out. I'm not saying that you guys are wrong for, uh, you know, watching a commentary, sitting behind the computer, whatever, just enjoying your free time, uh, because you're lucky enough to have that free time. And uh, if you're lucky enough to have that free time, I fully feel like you should um, endorse it. Or not endorse it, sorry, that was the wrong word, but enforce it and use it and uh, just have fun with your free time because a lot of the world doesn't have free time. And when they do, they definitely don't have computers and cell phones and all these awesome things that we have um, on a regular basis to, to use to uh, entertain themselves and stuff. And so you, you just need to recognize how lucky you are. Um, me personally, I... I didn't used to recognize it. Uh, a lot of people go through their life without even thinking they're lucky, and all they can do is complain about what they don't have. And um, I, I'm not even going to lie, guys. I used to be the same way. Uh, I didn't complain as much as uh, my parents would say, but I, I, all I, I never thought about everything that I had, and I, all, I only thought about what I didn't have. And, um, you know, one day I was just thinking, and I was thinking to myself, you know, that's I have a lot. I have an Xbox, I have a nice HD TV, I have a nice MacBook Pro, I get the pleasure to record myself playing video games, and I get to put myself out on the internet for anybody to see. Um, you know, I'm really lucky, I'm a really lucky person. I have a steady source of nice food, good water, other things to drink. Um, my parents, I have, have a good marriage, I have a lot of friends, nobody really hates me. You know, I've got it pretty good, and, uh, you know, two years ago, I would have said, oh, but I don't have a PlayStation 2, um, like, not a PlayStation 2, like, a PlayStation also, like, oh, I don't have a PlayStation, oh, uh, I want, uh, an iMac, instead of, you know, realizing all the great, wonderful things that I actually do have, and, um, you know, a lot of people are still like that, and it took me a while to, uh, realize that, you know, I'm not above anyone and to just realize that how lucky I am to be able to have all these things and that's the point of this commentary is, is to get you guys to realize how lucky you are to have everything you have because when it comes down to it you have a lot even if you're just sitting behind an old uh, what you would call crappy laptop watching this video because you're bored you have it good you have a laptop that's more than you know, a lot of people can say, a lot of people would take your old, air quote, crappy laptop and be amazed at what it can do. Uh, a lot of people would be, oh, oh, wow, this is so fast, you know? Um, you just, just can't take for granted everything that you have. And, and that's really the point of this commentary is to just let you guys know and remind you guys how lucky you are each and every day for each and everything that happens to you. And, you know, yeah, there are bad things that happen to you. But when it comes down to it, they really aren't that bad in the long run. You know, maybe they're not favorable. Like, you might get an F on a test if you're still in school. Or you might get a pay cut or whatever if you if you're, if you have a job. But, you know, when it comes down to it, most of you, and I'm going to go ahead and say all of you because you all can afford to have a computer, so I'm going to guess that all of you have a steady source of food and water. And that should be enough. I mean, it really should be, and of course it isn't. Everybody always wants more, that's just human nature. But uh, it should be enough, and I recognize that it isn't, like I just said, but it should be plenty for you. You have a steady source to live on. 
you have a home to live in, you have a computer to use, you have friends, most likely, uh, that that have your back and stuff when you need them to. So you you really just have it pretty good. And uh, that, that's all I really wanted this commentary to uh, let you guys know, is that, you know, you, you've got it pretty good, no matter how bad you think it is, no matter how bad you feel right now, no matter how sad you are, you know, even if your parents just went through a divorce, for example, and I'm not, I'm not making light of this, because I have uh, friends whose parents are divorced, and I know it sucks, but even if that happens, chances are you're still going to have your computer, you're still going to have your water and your food, and you really are lucky to be alive and have everything you do and not have to worry about what you're going to eat next, and instead you get to worry about you know what YouTube video you're gonna watch next it's really great um, and I just wanted to make this commentary so that you guys could all think about it because I know it took me a while to realize and um, I feel like everybody should realize and I feel like a lot of people don't um, but anyways guys thank you for watching this commentary this is Dirge 15 and uh, I'm out <laughs>